What is going on guys? Paradox105 and today is the final day of Season of the Undying. That's right guys, tomorrow Season of Dawn comes out. That's when all the changes come out. That's when all the buffs are coming in. That's when bottom, that's when Burst, gl burst Glide gets nerfed. That's when the fate of Bottom Tree Dawn Blade gets decided as if, if it'll be a decent super still or if it's gonna be pure shit from now on so guys I decided to make this video and kinda like commemorate the good runs that we had with bottom tree dawn blade and we're gonna compare it now like we're gonna make a video on it and how it performs now not only in a private playlist which I'm gonna be doing right now just to compare stats but in um, crucible so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna go over the solar set. We're gonna go over both bottom and top tree dawn blade, how they are right now, compared to what they will be tomorrow. So, right now, uh, let's go to. Um. Let's do one which we can just run around in. Oh, they still have the dead cliffs. Haven't played that map. Haven't played that map for like ages. Oh shit. Distant shore. I might do Equinox, guys. Fortress. Hmm. I miss that map so much. Legion Sculpt. I miss that so much. Meltdown. And then my. Okay, let me turn off my phone here because it's being an asshole. So, I'm gonna turn off notifications. There we go. Okay. So now, where were we? Yes. Meltdown, Legion's Coast. Um. I haven't played Solitude for a long ass time, too. I guess I got rid of it. And then Vostok is now. Should we do Vostok, guys? Widow's Court, Wormhaven. Ah, uh, now nah, I'm feeling Equinox. That one has more space for um for Dawnblade. All right, match time. We're gonna do 20 minutes. Score limit default. Supercharge rate three seconds. Respawn time instance. In case we fuck up. All right. So guys, this is how it's gonna be. We're just gonna go out and test um, everything. And just gotta make sure everything's right. Supercharge rate, yep. Screw limit, yep, yep. All right, sweet. So right now we're gonna do it without. Five seconds. Melee. When you hit before it burns, it burns them. So that's that. And then the well lasts another five seconds. So two, three, four, five. So basically, yeah, five seconds. All right, and let's go to Firebolt Grenade. 
pretty self-explanatory, right? Fusion grenade. Doesn't do anything. It, it's like the weakest of the grenades, but anyway, I'm gonna keep mine on this. So, for burst glide, for regular bottom tree, this is what's gonna be like. without the boot. So it takes me, so from here to here, it takes me um, around seven seconds. Yeah, seven, se basically seven seconds. No! To the other side, okay. That's nice. With the boots on, though, it, it usually takes it down to like uh, four seconds. Really. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back there. What's that you've got? So, let's put on the boots. This usually buffs your uh, your sprinting ability, sorry, right, so let's go. So six seconds. It basically buffs it a little bit. Um Let's see here. Now that we got that, let's try bottom let's try top tree. Bottom tree. How long does it take for me to get from here to the power ammo? Right. Okay, that was kind of messed up, guys. Not gonna lie. Let's try that again. You can tell it. You, you can see it. Like it takes around like six seconds. Six seconds to get over there, right? That's without the boots. With the boots. With the boots. doing it at another advantage. The stairs are well You know what? Let's do this. Instead of seconds, let's see if we can make it to the one side of the map and how much super we have left. So right now, so ignore what we did before. Sorry. I just don't have the, the professional equipment to actually check, you know, do all the calculations and stuff. But, um, let's just, so let's just do this. We're at the one edge of the map, right? No shortcuts, we're going to take the lawn out. Okay, that kind of fucked it up. 
So basically it takes it so let's just say it takes the entire super to get to the other side, alright? Let's just double check. Make sure that we're not just not just because I ran into the box of one bag. There's a map that you could actually just fly through. Anyway, okay, so then let's just see if we can do it without the. Without the I didn't quite make it guys, as you can tell I, I went a little bit faster. Let's try let's try from this side. So now, uh, with that being in mind, let's put these back up. With that being in mind, uh, let's see how long the super lasts without using anything. So, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So around 23 seconds. How much projectiles can we get off in total? So basically eight projectiles. Let's just say that we're flat. So let's pretend like we're actually in a PvP match. We're flying around the map. And we're looking for people to kill. So pretend like I'm actually in the match, guys. Only three, only like four blades. So as you can see, I only was able to get like four blades off, and then I lost my tracer. So unless I'm like spamming the hell out of it. Okay, I should have been too close to it. Gotcha. Alright, um... Either way, uh... So... Let's say... Okay, I'm gonna try to run into the uh,
But anyway, guys, so that is that. Uh, I'm closing like a track. The track is okay. Entire map uh, size, and then uh, so, yeah. this kind of So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on top tree dawn blade. Bottom tree seems to be in a good state, I guess. But we're going to take that into the field and test it. So that's kind of the stats of bottom tree. How, you know, how fast it took it took a couple seconds, right? It like I was able to get across the map with with like my entire super. So I'm going to have to remember that for tomorrow. Now let's do top tree. <laughs> For top tree dawn blade, you can you can dodge. Uh, Icarus dash cooldown. See with Icarus dash, it has like a cooldown or something like that, so you can see guys see it, the Icarus dash cooldown. So when I pop my super. So it's like the same basically. Yeah, it's like the same. It's like the same as bottom. I'm wearing those boots too. Guys. a little bit it, it it goes away a little bit faster guys um maybe you project out you're not go down so you can do that with your super so for example how much blades can you use in top tree basically the same as the top uh, bottom tree. So uh, with that being said, how many times can you use Icarus Dash before it runs out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146
basically like 15, 16. Hours. They said that you should be able to Icarus dash more, and that that's where the so the basically the the speed that you go when you're burst gliding is gonna be it's gonna be given to you when you use Icarus dash because you're supposed to be a little more faster or something like that. Um, however, I don't know how I feel about that. My melee right now is like this, but you're supposed to be gonna be able to shoot fireballs. So remember, guys, we're gonna go into a couple games and actually test this shit out. So. Uh, let's see how far I can get. Um, I can go from how far I can get on the uh, one side of the map to the other. So fairly even to the ammo. Yeah, basically, not even close to this. But what would happen if I combined it, though? Could I, if I could, if I combined this with my run? Oh, that actually makes it work. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It, it makes it worse, guys. Like, it actually cuts the momentum. Not to mention, it gets rid of my super. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. So that's that's how that works out. Um, you should be able to do it a little bit of here. I should actually make like a uh, how do I say this? A different uh, button for that because. It can be really... Does this do anything? Oh, that's my mouse sensitivity. Okay, so that's so that's basically the top and bottom tree right there. Um, now, if that if that was almost impossible to do, like this imagine what, what it's like without it. So we're gonna go into a couple games right now and test it out because we're gonna do momentum control because that seems to be the easiest, well, the easiest way. Super. He says mayhem. I know, I know mayhem is, you know, um, chaotic, but. <laughs> so we're gonna do bottom tree, guys. See how it fares, you know. Too bad momentum control isn't gonna be, you know, isn't gonna be available when the new season comes out, but I just kind of want to show you guys, like, you know. <laughs> They're going to rework both of these. Give you an extra, extra stash and buff that. And then, yeah. Alright, we're going to see what happens. So we're gonna do like a couple matches of momentum control. Hopefully we can get like a decent super in. And then once we get a decent super in for uh, bottom tree, we're gonna compare that to top tree. And once we get a decent super, or if we can get a decent super for top tree, then we're gonna go into regular crucible and then we're gonna try those out. And um, yeah, then we'll end the video guys. So, um, hope 
it works out. Actually, I might actually have to divide this into part one and part two. I'm gonna actually do that, guys. So I'm gonna actually wait for this match to load, and once it loads, then I'm gonna, then I'm going to come back, and hopefully you guys will be able to. How does this? Then we'll kind of like tick it out. So I'll see you guys in the next video, right?